finally back home and boy am I exhausted. My boss kept me there ranting about his wife's alleged cheating. It was beyond frustrating. By the way, Richard, are you still at work? I bet it's busy as ever, isn't it? Hey, it looks like this is going to take longer than I anticipated. We've got a new project to tackle and it's due real soon. Don't wait for me to have dinner. Go ahead and eat without me. I'll be running late tonight. Gotcha. You've been crazy busy lately, huh? Noticed you've been coming home late a lot. When was the last time we had dinner together? Like, a week ago? And even then, it wasn't even at home. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess? You're not even sorry? I am sorry for making you handle all the chores and everything. I know it must have been tough on you. It's just that work has been insane and time is slipping away. But we're both working and bringing in the money. So I should definitely chip in with household tasks too. I'll make it a point to find the time. I promise. Work is work. No need to stress about it. But you know what's been bothering me? We haven't been on a date in ages. And with the year wrapping up, I'm worried about you. Will you be okay if things get even crazier? It feels like you'll be stretched too thin. I guess I'll end up being alone more often. Yeah, whatever. I guess you're right. Can't really do anything about it if I get swamped, huh? Wait, hold up. Are you being serious? Are you really telling me you're going to get even busier? You better be joking, Richard. We're still newlyweds for crying out loud. How can you just prioritize work over everything else? I had so many plans for us after getting married. Oh, please. It's been six whole months since we got married. So let's drop this whole newlywed act. You're always overthinking things, as usual. Get a grip. Well, even if we don't feel like newlyweds anymore, other people still see us that way. So why can't I? Let's just drop it, okay? Continuing this conversation will only add to my frustration. Oh. And speaking of something else, remember that delivery we received? It was a bunch of oranges. Can you guess who sent them? Oranges? Why would anyone send that? Haha, <laughs> you goof. It's from your friend Scarlet. She mentioned it's from her family's orange tree. So she insisted we enjoy them. I saw a few other packages from her as well, but I ended up opening this one because it seemed the heaviest. Oh, Scarlet. How could I forget? <laughs> She's got a whole orange orchard at her place. Man, those were some good times. Reminiscing about it now. Make sure to thank her then. You guys have been friends forever after all. And seriously, oranges are a total lifesaver. Scarlett's got her hands full with work at the orchard, yet she made the effort to bring them to us. Isn't she just the sweetest? I wish I had a childhood friend like her. Are you really sure about that? I have a feeling she was just trying to offload those apples. She could have gotten us something way better, you know. And hey, if there's any other mail for me, make sure you don't go snooping and opening them. Oh, and by the way, Scarlett is just a housewife now. So I doubt she's up to anything exciting. Must be pretty damn boring, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I won't touch your mail, don't worry. And don't say things like that. How could you be so rude? She's too good of a friend for you. I wish I was friends with her. She's also pretty and smart. How could she have it all? I heard all the boys had a crush on her from your friend Jacob at the wedding. Do you also like her, Richard? <laughs> oh, hell no. Not my type at all. She's a brunette and everyone knows I prefer blondes. No chance in hell with her. Oh, don't worry about it. She's just average. Nothing to be concerned about. You're just as attractive and smart, if not more. Plus... Wasn't that all back when you were just kids? We used to run around in circles on those country roads, remember? Weren't you so happy to reconnect with her? It must have been nice to talk about the good old days once, now that you were both adults. I won't get jealous, so you don't have to be defensive. No, seriously, I never saw her in that way. What surprises me even more than that is the fact that she moved so close to us. We're both married now, but who would have thought we'd end up being neighbors again? It's just something I never would have imagined. I guess there's some kind of fate connecting you two, huh? By the way, have you made any plans for Christmas yet? Last year was a bit rough with all the moving. 
So we should definitely make it a priority this year, right? You mean visiting my parents? Yeah. What else do you think I meant? I mean, my parents' house is close by, so there's no point in going there for Christmas. I'm totally fine with going to your parents' house instead. Let's make it happen and have a great time with your family. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the idea of visiting them. Mm, I'm actually thinking of going back by myself. I don't want to be a bother to you. Why would you do that? It's not a bother at all. You're saying you don't want to spend it apart this year too. I'm kind of getting tired of that. There's like absolutely nothing worth seeing in my hometown. You wouldn't understand, being a city person and all. Even if you were to come, you'd just be bored out of your mind. Trust me. And let's not forget how nervous and tense you'd be around my in-laws. I felt the same way at your place, so I totally get it. I mean, you do have a point there, Richard. I might end up feeling that way, but how can I not go? After all, they're my in-laws. Since we're both making money, let's make the most of our break and just relax. Remember how you wanted to visit that new museum in our neighborhood? Well, now's the perfect time for you to go and check it out. Take this opportunity and enjoy yourself. Honestly, I'm not really okay with the idea of not visiting your parents. It just feels so rude not to show up when we have the chance. I'll just say you were sick or something. I'd only be gone for half a day or so. And if you go back to my parents' place, we'll be stuck there for so long. Might even end up sleeping over. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got a ton of work piled up. So I can't take the risk of having a sleepover. But I haven't seen your mother in person since we got married. The last time we video called and I said hi to her, she just sighed and gave short answers. Oh wow, I didn't realize my mom felt the need to reach out to you. But hey, no need to stress. That's just how she is, you know? Always being distant and approachable, even with my own friends. Even Scarlett. Oh, come on. Even I know that's not true. At our own wedding, your mom told me she would never have thought you'd end up marrying a girl like me. You know how bad I felt? And she was like, if only you choose a girl like Scarlett. It was so hurtful that I ended up secretly crying in the bathroom that day. Don't you remember any of that? I was an emotional wreck after she said those things. I don't remember at all. You sure I was also there? I know you were there. It was our wedding day after all. Maybe you were busy catching up with friends? But something has been bothering me for a while. Your mom keeps comparing me to Scarlett and even called me Kathleen by mistake. I've been thinking that it's important for me to meet with her and try to improve our relationship. No need to worry so much. Mom just has a soft spot for Scarlett because they spent a lot of time together when we were kids. Remember how she was even there when we used to plan those pretend weddings with Scarlett? So, don't let it bother you. Just brush it off. That's why I thought I should go for sure this year. You know, try and get on her good side this time. But if I'm told that it's a nuisance, then I can't go for sure. Ugh, sucks. I really hate how she dotes on Scarlet so much, Richard. Kylie, you're too serious. Chill a little. All right, I got it. You know what? I'll try my best to see what their plans are for Christmas and maybe we can go there. How does that sound? Absolutely, Richard. That would be amazing. If I manage to win her over, Let's plan a day where the three of us can go out together. Take care of what you need to do, and I'll see you when you get back. See you later. Hey Richard, how's your work trip going? Have you made it to the hotel yet? It's been a while since I heard from you, and I'm starting to get a bit worried. How could you leave me hanging for hours without a word? The plane got delayed, and I had no service. I just arrived at the hotel. I'm exhausted and feeling sore from the flight. I was thinking of taking it easy and having a nice warm bath. Sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I really wish I could have joined you. But that stupid meeting came up unexpectedly. I feel terrible that they informed you last minute that you had to go. Please make sure you get some rest, alright? And promise me you'll take me with you next time. Right? They're using me to the bone. I thought I could finally catch a break this weekend too. Guess not. <laughs> you want to call? I want to see what your hotel looks like. It's not that late, so it should be good, right? Sorry, babe. My phone is running out of battery. Is charging your phone that hard? Fine, don't call me then. What's with you, Kylie? 
Feeling a bit down or something? Your tone sounds so dry. Well, you won't call me and it's been hours, so of course I'm upset. But I did get a call from your dad. What? My dad? What did he say? I knew this would happen. It was your dad's birthday. How could you miss that, Richard? You're such a bad son. I sent him a present. I even sent you a message about the present. It was a wallet. And he called me to thank me for that. Oh, you're talking about that. Yeah, I know. My dad told me he liked it. What did you think I was talking about? I mean, there is not much of a reason for you to contact my dad. So I just got a little surprised. Sorry. To be honest, I was also surprised. It was the first time I got a call from him too. Right. Sorry that you got upset. But I was happy that he called me. I think it was the first time I had a genuine conversation with him since our wedding day. There hasn't been much of an opportunity to meet him lately, so I felt so bad the whole time. You're thinking of joining me when we visit my parents, aren't you? Oops, my bad. I forgot to mention that I already talked to my mom about it. She wants to keep it as a family thing this time. I really tried to ask her. I promise. That means that she doesn't consider me as family, right? I knew that she didn't like me from the start. No, that's not it. Like, if we meet many times from now, I'm sure she will eventually come around soon. Just be patient, babe. But your dad told me that it was alright to join. Are you the one lying then? My dad can't read the room, so don't mind what he says. He just says whatever, whenever he wants. My mom's opinion matters the most. Yeah, got it. Mama's boy. I'm not a mama's boy. Anyway, is everything okay over there? Nothing happening? Yeah, just the usual. Going back and forth from home and work. You already know. <laughs> Got it. Work hard, Kylie. I'll eat dinner in a bit, so I gotta get going. TTYL Kylie? Oh, hello, Ruby. It's definitely been a while. Have you been doing well? Wow, you're still as carefree as ever, huh? How can you possibly act so nonchalant in a situation like this? It's beyond me. I'm sorry? What the hell are you doing now? Where are you? I'm at the office because of work? What's wrong? Oh, for God's sake. I'm so sick and tired of you. You're seriously the worst kind of person. How on earth could you not be here when my husband was taking his last breath? It's unfathomable. I'm actually considering getting you divorced from my son. Frankly, that might be the best thing for everyone involved. What? Michael passed away? I didn't hear anything from Richard. Oh, spare me your lies. My son made it clear that he informed you. Even if you haven't been around much, how can a so-called wife not be there when her father-in-law breathes his last? It's utterly disgraceful. Michael can't even rest in peace with you pulling this kind of nonsense. But, Ruby, I don't quite understand what you're talking about because, you know, I am with Michael right now. What? I thought you weren't working. Why the hell would my husband be at your workplace? You're clearly not in the right state of mind. Are you on drugs or something? I wouldn't be surprised. You're just a low-class, clueless woman. No, I'm definitely telling the truth. If anyone's not in the right state of mind, it's you. So please, tell me again. How could Michael have passed away if I'm with him right now? Oh, you disrespectful brat. I already told you, didn't I? I made it clear that he passed away. Are you too dense to comprehend even the simplest information? Oh, well, let me inform Michael of his own death in that case. I'll show him your message. Excuse me? Is he really with you right now? He sure is. You're lying. You're taking me for an idiot, aren't you? Why would he be there? You two have barely ever said two words to each other. First of all, let's drop the pretense, shall we? 
Michael spilled the beans about your little scheme with my husband. I'm not stupid, you know. How could you even conjure up such an outrageous plan? What we had planned? I have no idea what you're talking about. Save your innocent act. It's pointless now. Everything has been exposed. Oh, look. Michael is calling you, Ruby. Can't you hear your phone ringing? Answer his call, Ruby. Why are you avoiding it? Hurry up and pick up the phone. Fine. Go ahead and run away like the coward you are. But mark my words, this won't be the last time you hear from me. I'm preparing the divorce papers and alimony now. Can't you come back home faster? I want to get this over with. Your dad is also waiting. Kylie, sorry. Why the hell are you saying sorry? That means nothing to me. For a lot of things, everything. For cheating on me with Scarlett, huh? Or for trying to break up with me so you could get married to Scarlett? How about asking your mother for help so you could get divorced from me? For everything, of course. I wasn't sure how to go about bringing up a divorce with you. And when I talk about it with my mom, she said she would support me in marrying Scarlett instead. I was told that she'd help me. My mom was also looking forward to it. You are the most cowardly, weak little mama's boy I've ever met. You two idiots also tried to get me to believe your dad passed. Boy, did that blow up in your face, huh? What the hell is going on in your heads? I just didn't want to hurt you, Kylie. Don't act so righteous. If you didn't want to hurt me, why would you have cheated on me in the first place? If I hadn't heard from your father a month ago that the two of you were up to something strange, I would have just divorced you for no reason at all. I'm glad this happened. You already knew about us from way back then? Why didn't you say anything? You know, when your dad called me back to thank me for the gift, that's when he dropped the bomb. Your mom would call you for the most trivial stuff, those never-ending phone calls. I should have seen through it all. At first, I couldn't wrap my head around it. I didn't want to believe that you were cheating, Richard. But eventually, I couldn't deny it anymore. I actually hired someone to keep an eye on you. And that's when I discovered the truth. It was absolutely devastating. When it finally sank in that you were really cheating, I couldn't even process it. I'm sorry. If I knew that it would turn out like this, I should have just told you from the start. And to think that you were cheating with Scarlet. You remember how much I talked about her? You couldn't even mention it once. You guys started cheating as soon as you met each other again, right? Ha! Ah, I should have known then. The two of you plotted this together the whole time to fool me. Even when your work trip was an excuse to go on a trip together, right? Right? Since Scarlett's husband is also away on work trips abroad, you would often go over to her place too, you scumbag. Yes, I'm wrong about everything. I should have just told you sooner. Since I saw how happy you were since getting married, I drag on telling you the news. In that case, we divorced right away and you pay me the alimony. What the hell were you waiting around for? I want to get rid of any relationship with you right this moment. I know. I know. I'm on the way home now. I'll make sure to take full responsibility. After this is all said and done, I can finally be with Scarlett anyways. Even at a time like this, you have the audacity to mention Scarlett to me? You'll never change. I really liked you, Kylie. I really, really did. So I thought I should let you know that just in case... Just in case what? In case Scarlett dumps you and you want to try and weasel your way back to me? After breaking up, I have no interest in what you do whatsoever. We are over, Richard. Move on. I told Scarlett's husband everything about you too. So what? That doesn't change anything. From now on, the one by my side is going to be Scarlett. Oh? I'm guessing you haven't talked to her then. Apparently after he confronted her, she begged him for forgiveness. She said she was sorry and would do anything to not get divorced. What? He told you that? Sure did. So it seems that she doesn't even want to get married to you. There's no way. Scarlett told me that if the two of us got married that every day would be fun. We even made plans for our honeymoon. Is that right? Have you been able to get in touch with her today by any chance? No, I couldn't. But what does that even matter? It's only the morning. 
It hasn't even been a day yet. Scarlett is probably busy with a divorce too. Hmm. Strange. I heard from Scarlett's husband yesterday though. And about how she is clinging on to him and not wanting to divorce. She swore never to contact you again too. Are you doing this out of spite because we are getting divorced? There's no point in telling me such a lie. No matter what happens, I'll end up together with Scarlett. So me and you are over, Kylie. If that's the case, then get in touch with Scarlett right now. Scarlett's Insta disappeared. It was there yesterday though. What on earth? Did you do something? I didn't do anything at all. Maybe Scarlett deleted her Insta account. Maybe she wanted to have nothing to do with you at all. Nah, that's a lie. Scarlett would never betray me like that. She's not that kind of girl. Ha! Huh. That sucks. You seemed so serious. But Scarlett didn't feel the same way about you. So hurry up and get back here. As soon as you sign, we can get divorced right away. Wait a sec. I said I was sorry. This has all been so painful for me. It's worse for me. What are you saying? You already knew about my affair from a month ago. I only just found out that Scarlett doesn't want to get remarried to me. I need to get my feelings sorted out. Why can't you just understand me? Why would I try to understand the feelings of a guy like you? The one being hurt is me. Get it together. Sorry, Kylie. I've got the perfect solution to this. Why don't we reconsider our divorce? What? Never mind. My heart is just all over the place right now. Now I regret having any sort of relationship with Scarlett. <laughs> Amazing! But until now, you were so excited about getting remarried. Just because you got dumped by Scarlett? You're trying to cling to me now? How long are you going to treat me like an idiot? That's not it. I really like you too, Kylie. That's why I couldn't tell you about the divorce and ask my mom for help instead. You were also surprised when you heard about my affair, right? So I guess we can't reconsider trying again. Surprised is a very vanilla way of putting it. And on top of that, I can never forget how you asked your mother to help you in dumping me. So please live as you please from now on. Kylie, I'm so sorry. I'll only treasure you from now on, Kylie. I can't believe a single thing you say. Not letting me go to your parents' house was also because you wanted to get divorced, right? I can never be with the guy who came up with such an idea. No matter what happens, I'll be together with Scarlett. The one who said such a thing was you. The one by your side will never be me again. Subsequently, my ex-husband returned home in tears and desperate, expressing his unwillingness to get a divorce. Thankfully, Michael was there to ensure his son signed the divorce papers and settled on alimony. My ex-husband made quite a scene during the signing. But it's finally over now. Michael had grown tired of his son and wife's foolish behavior as well. He expressed his disappointment and apologized on their behalf. It wasn't just me going through a divorce in the end. Michael divorced Ruby too. He seemed much happier after the divorce was finalized. Since my ex-mother-in-law had nowhere else to go, she ended up mooching off my ex-husband's place. However, they lived together in constant quarrels, blaming each other for the divorce. It's ironic to think how friendly they used to be not too long ago. As for Rachel, she managed to reconcile with her husband. But not everyone gets a fairy tale ending. Her husband couldn't easily forgive her, so he acts as though she doesn't exist, even though they didn't end up divorcing. I moved right after my divorce and now I'm enjoying peaceful days. Those were truly hellish times for me, discovering my ex-husband's affair. During those challenging moments, Michael's support meant the world to me. Even though I'm no longer his daughter-in-law, I still keep in touch with him occasionally. As for my ex-husband and his mother, I want to forget about them as quickly as possible. From now on, I'll create new, joyful memories to replace the bad ones.